So that is how the Lane Kiffin era will begin as Moore takes the swing pass from out of the backfield and the outstanding. And now Plumley looking for room on the right side and doesn't find. And keep it himself and the whistle will blow. And this time Plumley is going to Matt Corral in the shotgun as Corral. A little bit of pressure in his face floated up there. Said, I hope so. He's going to have plenty of opportunities to. Quickly to the other side. Ely for Ole Miss. Here's Ely. And Ely catches a bit of a C second team preseason all SEC. Second and six will get work again on that left side as he weaves his way. I love this misdirection. If you watch the right tackle, he pulls around, gets up inside on the Mike linebacker, and Ely squeaks. If I'm Ole Miss, though, I'm taking a shot downfield. Instead, it's going to be a tackle for loss. Second and 12, Corral in for a minute. And the other officials have completely disregarded it, and three plays have now gone by. Let me get. High snap. Corral gets it. And Corral trying to serve. Ely. Slithery. Corral's ability to drive the ball down the field. And they'll keep it on the ground against SEC with the best missed tackle rate. Third and two, and he will have enough for the executing in the red zone. Corral trying to spin free and unable to do so. Vent of Corral as he spins out of it initially, just kind of keeping his eyes in the backfield. A late green dog pressure, and Corral spins. Who lost 15 pounds this offseason, and you see what that mobility and speed does for him. Here's Tylen Knight. And Knight doesn't get anything over after an early injury to Corral. Third and 19, Corral, time to wind up, and he does it! What a strike! Point providing a pass rush. And quick to the line. Corral wants every bit of it, and he's gonna find it! Drummond! Hardy, you better get ready for some investigative journalism here. Could be a double pass. Drummond's gonna wind it up. Wide open and into the hand! How much I love the patience here from Drummond. Little pump fake, step up in the pocket, and throw a dime. And then a tackle for a loss, Brenton Cox, the sophomore. Second and goal, but backed up. Corral batted at the line of scrimmage. And Florida believes that they have the defensive line. It was Brenton Cox who got his hand up, and watch where this ball goes. Wow. I mean, just two consecutive plays by Cox. Snoop Connor will get some work here. As he takes Spend it after four games. I mean, Connor breaks free. Production from their freshman class last year. And this time, nowhere to go. He's. Start of the second quarter. Ole Miss trailing by a touchdown at home. Corral. Got a good arm downfield. There's a lot of third and 11. Corral, pressure in his face. He slips past it, tucks, runs, first down. Has the arm to do it, and as we saw earlier to Drummond. Instead, it's Ely as he's able to get to the corner. He has the wheels. Moore comes in motion. He'll give to Ely. Ely probing that right side and run down his legs. Is. And whistles blow. Yeah, he's got to let those guys get here. Let's see if they cross the field right here. Third and eight. Corral steps up. He tucked, ran for it before, and what a juke he puts on. Sit up again with his legs. Quick strike. Last couple downs. High snap. And he's able to make something. Corral. There would be starting center opted out because of COVID concerns. Corral into the end. Find the flowing defenders. A beautiful job there by Matt Corral negotiating a defender in his face with a little sidearm action. Loot gauntlet. But all things considered, I mean, with the state of the SEC East, it might only take a win against Georgia. Ole Miss's offense.
High snap. Ely's going to take it straight ahead. Catches a seam. Makes a move. Keeps his balance. And ...task right now. He needs to get guys on campus and develop relationships, and that'll come in time. Matt Corral pumps, goes deep, and is able to connect. Moore has 170 receiving yards. Keep it on the ground with Snoop Connor now. More than between the against Florida's corner, and he goes up and makes a play for you. You know, it's interesting you bring up the safeties because obviously that's a point of concern. Senior and a veteran, but a lot of unknowns in the secondary for Florida right now. Third down and eight. Here's Moore out of the backfield. Flag is down as he tips to. Man rush against Corral. He's going to split the middle. All to be involved in the college football playoff. It's going to be tough, Joe. Here's Plumley on the jet motion, and he's teams. Uh, even if someone goes seven and zero, unless they just boat race the entire league, would get much of a look when the third and sixteen. They drop eight against Corral, and Corral better get those legs going. He has had enough success in life. <laughs> Downfield enable. And this time, you got UFC 253 tonight. The prelims are going to start at 7 Eastern on ESPN2. And then, of course, ESPN Plus for the main event. And once again, it's you. He is a plug-and-play starter for this team, and they're going to need him. And here he is, reaching out. And... Ely? Going to be, we'll see. Well, I, I think they've answered their first test, at least on offense. Corral? Trying to extend. Us included. Great to be back in the South. Corral dancing his way. That he can go a little bit. And now he's got time. But does he have an option? No, he's got to check down. 30 and maybe having a chance to go over 30 is pretty dang impressive. Hey, we get to see Alabama tonight in prime time against him to find a way to stop the Kyle connection. Second and one. Corral. Incomplete. 642 total yards right now against Ole Miss. As Snoop Connor takes it ahead, that'll move the chains. Play offensively, pretty remarkable. Makes life easy, doesn't it? Corral, that was batted at the line of scrimmage. I think it's going to be Brenton Cox, but we'll see as the season goes along. A couple of NFL draft picks that left the defensive line as meet to celebrate pretending to be a dog doing a certain something. Well, as this is taken down to the 11. Yeah. Second and nine. Corral spins free, but then is. Playing things out here with Corral in this Ole Miss offense. As he gets inside the 10 and tries to reach out for the goal line. Ball comes loose at the one yard line. See if they can punch it in. And Connor does just. Corral's going to run it himself, and he's going to come up short. The rise to the top of college football. Corral thought about throwing it to the near to run the ball underneath. Corral drives it to the 35. 